Good morning, everybody. It is a Wednesday, May 29th. I'm Chris Allen here on the Sam channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Another gorgeous day it is going to be, and boy, does it feel nice. And I know a lot of you've got cleanup to do, still cleaning up. You'll be cleaning up for a while. Some folks still without electricity. It may take a while for, I hate it. I hate it. And then some of you are looking at all the debris in your yard and you're thinking, when is this going to go away? When are we going to be able to take care of this? When is the insurance adjuster going to come and write up our, you know, get us going here so we can get this stuff out of the way? I know patience is wearing thin, but, uh, you know, it just, these kind of situations take a while and, uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, but you know, as, uh, I heard somebody say, uh, that we interviewed at news 40, um, that suffered a lot of damage at their house. They were like, Hey, it's just stuff. It's just trees. It's just lumber. It's just this, that, and the other. It, and we're fine. We're fine. This stuff can be replaced. I know it's a, it looks tragic and it looks horrible. And you, you're looking at your yard and it's like, I can't even mow the yard. I can't finish anything. I can't start anything for that matter, because there are big trees laying everywhere and all this and down power lines and fences and stuff. It, I know it's just, uh, you know, you gotta just gotta be cool. <laughs> I know it's hard to do, uh, but it'll, it'll get taken care of. It will eventually. All right. Let's give you some more good news. Uh, I know a lot of you have started cleanup and the cleanup continues and you've got this to look forward to. This is the Plano cam here, uh, at seven 23 this morning, uh, live time. If you're watching this at a later hour, um, beautiful. Now there's a few clouds this morning, but these are fair weather clouds, uh, clouds associated with just a weak boundary that is passing through this morning. That boundary is what makes it feel so nice outside. It's a reinforcing shot of drier air, less humid air. And so it's going to feel wonderful today. Uh, there's no big heat. There's no big humidity. I mean, it is the perfect weather to do cleanup with, um, not as much of a breeze today as there was yesterday. It got pretty breezy, but it felt good because, uh, those breezes were just added to the cooling effect. We may find a, a breeze today, uh, from the North and West at about 10 to 12 miles per hour, but uh, it's all good. Look at the view there from downtown Bowling Green from Reservoir Hill. Everything looking good. Almost clear sky, but just some of those same puffy clouds around. Not a big deal. Everything is looking real, real fine and will for several more days. That's the best news of all is that you're not going to have to worry about any kind of bad weather, stormy weather. I mean, we're, I don't even have rain in the forecast until looks like Saturday afternoon. So you're going to have, you know, today, tomorrow, Friday, and part of Saturday, three and a half or so more days of this really, really fine weather. All right, let's check the maps this morning. And you can see the winds that are coming out of the Northwest. That's a bit unusual. And here's our little, uh, weak wave, little weak boundary. That's uh, a short wave that is passing through. Uh, so the winds are coming out of the Northwest at about five miles per hour. Uh, but it's, it's refreshing. It's very nice outside nearest precipitation Pittsburgh and then Oklahoma city. Nothing else around until you get north of, well, up toward the Great Lakes, toward Toledo and Fort Wayne, Indiana, Detroit, places like that. But look, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, we are seeing some of those clouds this morning, but notice it's just little patchy, puffy, fair weather clouds. This is the little boundary that is passing through this morning, and it's producing some clouds 
but no rain. So everything is going to remain very quiet, very tolerable, very seasonable, and less humid. That less humid part is the part I like because you're not going outside and just feeling like you're drenched in sweat from having to do yard cleanup and fixing this and fixing that and picking up sticks and, you know. So everything is, uh, everything is just much, much better after Sunday's storms, and it just keeps getting better and better. You know it's not going to last, but at least for the time being, uh, it's going to be great, great weather. All right, let's take a look at uh, mezzanine temperatures here at uh, almost 7.30 now. Uh, looking at 60s, there have been a lot of 50s this morning, like down in Monticello, 59 there. Albany, 59. Look, 58. Oops, 58 in Tompkinsville this morning. That's nice. Even better, the dew points. Because they're in the 50s. That's the biggest change of all. You can still have warm temperatures, but if the dew points are lower than 60, 60 is kind of the threshold. But if it's lower than 60, you've got some really nice, comfortable air. And that's what we have. Look at that dew point of 51 there in Grayson County, Litchfield. That's wonderful. I mean, it's almost unheard of at the end of spring, beginning of summer, but that's what we have. And the winds, as I mentioned, coming out of the Northwest at a, you know, two to five, um, it may get a little breezy after a while, but not quite as breezy as it was yesterday when we had some winds of 15 to 20. All right, let's check the uh, model blender and see what's ahead for us. And It's going to get warmer and it's going to feel like summer. It's going to come back and the mugginess is going to come back too. Here's a look down the road as we go mid and upper seventies today. Nice. Look at those fifties tonight and tomorrow night and the next night, Friday night. Um, that's just bonus. Uh, but then Here comes the heat and here comes the humidity. You know, it's going to come back, but it's not going to really be felt that way until about Monday and much of next week is going to be in the mid eighties, maybe a few upper eighties and the humidity and dew points are going to come back and there will be a few rain chances in there, but I don't see anything major. I don't, Nothing that's down the road that's a red flag saying, well, here comes another bit of severe weather. I just don't see it right now. It's just going to be warm and a little more, you know, humid, muggy as we get into next week. But other than that, nothing major going on. Let's, let's hope it stays that way for a while. We could, we could do without any more severe weather. And I know other parts of the country feel the same way. That's had it much worse, much, much worse, uh, than we've had it. Texas is just, wow. I've seen some of the videos that I've seen and some of the people huddling down in these, uh, you know, these little restaurants and these little convenience stores. And they're having to go to the back of the store where there's a cooler and things like that. Just to, just to stay alive. Just mind blowing the kind of severe weather that we've had this year. It's been an unusually crazy year for that sort of thing. Even for us, it's been a long time since we've had just one severe weather event after the other. All right, let's see if we can find some more tranquility for a while. Here's that little weak boundary coming through right now. That's why you're seeing some of those fair weather, puffy clouds. But high pressure is in control. Any of this rainy weather to the north is going to stay away from us. And any of this down south is going to stay away from us. So we're right here in the middle where everything is fine. Uh, The front does stall out just a little bit. The tail end of this will 
produce a little bit of scattered shower activity. And even up towards Cincinnati, um, you know, there could be maybe as far south as Lexington getting a sprinkle or a shower out of this little system, but not much more than that as we go through the afternoon and this evening and then early tomorrow, high pressure sits right on top of us. Gorgeous. It's going to be another cool night, very comfortable night as we drop into the mid 50s. Some of you, maybe even the low 50s. A little patchy fog, maybe early tomorrow morning in a few areas. Uh, here comes Thursday. Looking good. Thursday evening into Friday. High pressure still in control. Now you see uh, showers and thunderstorms building out in the plains. That's eventually what's going to come our way for the weekend. Here we go into Saturday, and that's when we begin to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon. We may get by Saturday morning without anything, but Saturday afternoon, this is going to come in area of low pressure. That's tracking through Arkansas. will continue to track East into Sunday, depositing a few scattered showers and thunderstorms, um, and into Monday and even into Tuesday. Yeah. Rainy pattern returns. But right now, I don't see any systems that could bring severe weather. So that's some hopefully good news. You still may be able this weekend to get some outdoor work done and maybe mow the yard if you're able to do that now uh, without any really stormy weather. It would be, you know, the scattered general garden variety of showers and thunderstorms and then they move on. Uh, This is not going to be like we had on Sunday. So at least right now, it doesn't appear to be that way. All right, you guys, uh, there you go. Plain and simple. Um, Enjoy this great weather. I know you wish you could enjoy it without having to do a bunch of yard work and cleaning up and hammering and fixing and sawing and doing all the things that you've got to do. Um, You've a lot of you've got a lot of work ahead of you and the linemen out there are, they still have a lot of work to do. I, I just, I thank God for them. I do. And, uh, everybody that's trying to clear roads and do what they can to get things open and back to normal. I know it's tough. I would not want to do it. That, that job that they have, I just thank the Lord for them because that's, I don't know that I can handle doing that sort of thing. And I'm glad there are people qualified and know how to do it and want to do it. And they're out there trying to do their best because they know, look, you guys need your power back on. You need life to kind of return to normal, uh, the best way that it can. And it just, it does take time. So just be patient, pray for these people, um, that are trying to get it done for you. In the meantime, Have a great day. I'm on the radio right now. Sam 100.7 with my morning show. And then tonight I'll be on your TV at News 40, NBC and CBS 40 at 5, 6, and 10. In the meantime, have a great day and God bless.